So you want to buy something from a Japanese auction, right? That could be a pretty good idea because many items are significantly cheaper in Japan than they are in countries like the United States. But how do you actually bid on Japanese auctions and get the items shipped internationally to your door? That's where Baiyi comes in. To be very clear, this video is not an advertisement or sponsored in any way. Baiyi has no clue who I am. I learned about Baiyi while watching a snappiness video about a weird old camera. Baiyi had sponsored his video and he had purchased that camera through their service. That intrigued me, so I decided to use Baiyi myself and then make this video to report on the results. Baiyi acts as an intermediary for international customers bidding on Japanese auction sites. It works with a few different auction sites and Yahoo is probably the most popular in Japan. When browsing through the auctions on the Baiyi website, it gives you a button for Google Translate so you can easily read the details. Then once you find the item you want, Baiyi places the bid for you. If you win, the item ships to their warehouse in Japan, then they check it over and ship it out to your home in whatever country you reside in. They also handle all currency conversions and communication with the seller. There are actually several services like this, but it's hard to tell what's legit and what isn't. Maybe they're all above board, but I chose to use Baiyi based on the endorsement from Snappiness. Before I tell you about my experience, let's quickly go over some of the reasons why you might want to buy an item from a Japanese auction site. The most obvious reason is to save money. In some cases, certain items will be significantly cheaper in Japan. That's the case with the camera I bought through Baiyi, and I'll give you a cost breakdown in just a minute. Or maybe you want to buy something that isn't commonly available in your country. I collect retro computers, so I'll use those as an example. MSX computers never took off in the US, so they're hard to find here. But they were very popular in Japan, so it's much easier to find a MSX computer on a Japanese auction site than on a US auction site. Finally, some collectors may want the Japanese version of a thing. Some video games, for example, had slightly different content in the Japanese version than in uh, international versions. My goal was to save some money while purchasing an Olympus Air A01. This is a quirky camera from 2016 that was discontinued soon after release and that never really sold in high numbers. At the time I made this video, there were only two available on eBay in all the United States. Both cost more than $250 plus taxes and shipping. The total to get one to my door probably would have been around $300. But what about in Japan? When I looked, there were several auctions for the Olympus Air on Yahoo Japan. I immediately found one with a buy it now price of 14,800 yen. That worked out to $103.31, which is less than half the prices in the US. The question was whether Baiyi was legit and whether the various fees and shipping costs would kill the deal. To find out, I pulled the trigger and signed up for Baiyi. That was really easy to do. I just filled in my uh, shipping information, and PayPal account. With an account, I was able to win the Olympus Air auction using the Buy It Now option. In my case, the total cost for the auction itself was $109.68, so an additional $6.37 over the listed Buy It Now price. Four days later, the item arrived at the Buy warehouse in Japan, and they had checked it over. The next step, and fee, was to ship the camera from the Baiyi warehouse in Japan to my home in the United States, specifically in Phoenix, Arizona. There were several different shipping options available with varying times and costs. I chose a relatively fast shipping option, which cost 4,180 yen. I also had to pay the 1,060 yen shipping fee that was necessary to get the camera from the seller in Japan to the Baiyi warehouse in Japan. So my total shipping costs were 5,240 yen, which worked out to $36.38. Baiyi shipped it out the day after I made my payment, and then it arrived at my door just four days after that. I was really surprised by how quickly it arrived. All right, so to break those costs down again, the Buy It Now price was $103.31, and then it cost another $42.75 for shipping and all the fees and everything to get it to my door. That made the total cost $146.06, which is about half what I would have paid if I had bought from a US seller on eBay. But to be clear, you shouldn't always expect such dramatic savings. For popular items that are significantly cheaper in Japan, resellers will just snatch them up and then sell them on American auction sites. As is always the case, you can bet that if there's a profit to be made somewhere, 
somebody is taking advantage of it. However, it's often possible to find deals like I did, especially for items that are more niche. Now, onto the camera itself. The Olympus Air arrived packed really well in a sturdy cardboard box, and everything was exactly as described. I have a YouTube short uploaded here on my channel of the unboxing, if that's something you're interested in watching. This video is more about Bai than the camera, but it's still pretty interesting. This is an open platform camera, and Olympus opened up the SDK so anyone can make their own apps for this. That's important because using a smartphone is really the only way to control this. All it is is a battery and sensor in a package. There is a shutter button, but you don't even know what you're focusing on unless you have a phone with an app connected to this. So it's a good thing that Olympus opened up the SDK because the original iPhone app that Olympus released is no longer available on the Apple Store. But I was able to use the Olympus Air thanks to a couple of free apps made by enthusiasts using the Olympus SDK. On my iPhone, I used Play OPC and it worked really well. It let me have complete control over videos and photos. On my iPad, I used VideoMate for AO1. That's really just for videos, but still worked pretty well. I think you can still find the original Olympus OA Central app for Android devices on the Amazon App Store. So check there if you buy one of these and have an Android smartphone. The Olympus Air is a fun little camera, but it's difficult to think of any practical use for this form factor. If it recorded better video, it might be decent for YouTube videos like this one, but my Panasonic GH5 cameras record much better video, so there's no real point in using this. If anyone can think of a cool idea for the Olympus Air, let me know in the comments. And now back to the real point of this video. The Bayi service was easy to use and I'm happy with it. It was fast and smooth and the fees were actually really reasonable. Even the shipping costs from Japan to the United States were affordable. So I'm comfortable recommending Bayi to you all. Again, I don't have any financial incentive here or connection to Bayi. I just think this is a cool option that many of you probably want to know about. It's safe to say that you subscribe to this channel because you're a geek like me, and Bayi opens up a whole new market of interesting tech that you can purchase. I hope this video was helpful. If you've used Bayi before, then comment with your experience to let everybody know how it went. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.